All right, guys, welcome to youtube.com slash Adam Akola. I'm Adam outside Old Trafford on the forecourt. I'm back again for the third time in a week. First time this week, we beat Liverpool. Second time around, we got knocked out of the Champions League here by Sevilla. And now it's time for Manchester United to bounce back and get a victory in the only competition that is left for us to win this season. We've got Brighton here in the quarterfinal with a place at stake at Wembley in the semi-finals. The competition's opened up a little bit more as well since Manchester City were knocked out against Wigan. We know Spurs are through already. Will Manchester United join them in the semi-finals? Big, big game here at Old Trafford today. And my seats changed. Yes, I've swapped seats. They're trying something new this time around. So I'm gonna go and check it out in the owl stand. So I've got a different view of the game this week. And you're gonna see it all here in my match day vlog here on youtube.com slash Adam McCola. Remember, if you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. We're gonna to head to Hotel Football now. We'll be getting the team news. We'll be meeting some of the lads. Dean's with me somewhere as well. I'll find him and we'll have a little chat about the game. See you in a bit. Come to see United. You only come to see United. Come to see United. Look how cold Dean is on the forecourt. Dean, you're wrapped up for this one. Freezing, yo. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling about this game? Obviously, we, we, we lost against uh, Sevilla. You weren't here for that one, but how are you feeling about it? Yeah, I just think we ho hopefully get back to winning ways, isn't it? Like, it's a bit, it feels a bit down, isn't it? But obviously, if we win this, like, at least we are, can challenge them for the FA Cup, isn't it? So, it's mad because if we beat Sevilla, we beat Chelsea, we beat Liverpool. If we beat Sevilla and we're coming into this in the, in the last eight of the Champions League, yeah. with a chance to get to a semi final, we'll be bouncing. Um, the FA Cup's the only competition we can win now. Are we going to win it? And if we do, is it a successful season? I think if, if we win it, obviously we've won a cup in it, so it's still the FA Cup. Still, I, I, was, I still want to win it. I don't think we've won it enough. So I think in, in, in looking back on the season, I think it would be a success. But like while, you're, while we're going through it, obviously it could have been better. And I think success in the Champions League could have been that. But it's still progress, and we're still, we're still better than we were last season. And obviously with some new additions probably in the summer, like some people moving on. It's still, it's still looking upwards, you know what I mean? Got to keep that positivity. Let's go head into the um, warmth of hotel football. Look at that. The snow's getting thicker. Let's go. I know we've won it three times and that, but I feel like this is a bit insensitive. Just in hotel football, waiting for the team news. Got a Guinness at last, and I just got to thinking. You know, it's funny. Yeah, no matter how bad I feel as a Man United fan, no matter whether the the, the opposition is Brighton or Barcelona, when I turn up, I feel excited. I feel confident, even if it is delusional. Is that just me? Happy St. Patrick's Day, folks. So the team news is in. It's Romero in goal, Valencia, Shaw at a fullback, Smalling, Bay, Matic. McTominay, Mata, Lingard, Martial and Romelu Lukaku. Alexis Sanchez drops to the bench. Pogba is still on the bench. Rashford drops to the bench too. Ashley on Fellaini and of course David De Gea are there as well. Strong team for Manchester United. Strange that Pogba isn't back into the team yet. Does that suggest that he's still injured? Possibly, possibly he could be carrying something good. Still trying to return to fitness but nevertheless that is enough to beat Brighton. But we did say that on Tuesday. Anyway, we're going to head in in a second. And as I said, I'm sitting somewhere different, so this should be good. Manchester United, put your 
Just left. I gotta say, yeah, that section was fucking mint. United need to put that on every single game. Great section in there, really enjoyed it. It wasn't the best of games for United, it wasn't the best of performances. But we're in the hat for the semi final draw, and that's all that matters. Oh, oh we needed that, we really did need that. Anyway, it's fan cam time. It's Al again. We're happy today, ain't we, Al? Yeah! United won. Whoa, 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 are you going to knock me over here? Yeah? United won? Yeah. Who's your man of the match? Bassett. Where are we going? <laughs> Did you do a vlog today? <laughs> Did you do a vlog today? Yeah. Check out his vlog. Did you see us in the singing section bit? Yeah. We're bouncing in there, weren't we? Yeah. 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 <laughs> So there we have it. We are done here at Old Trafford. Three games in a week. We beat Liverpool. We got knocked out of the Champions League. But we are going to Wembley in the semi-finals of the FA Cup after beating Brighton here today. Look, I'm going to keep it short and sweet because my hands are absolutely freezing. But first things first, I love that away end, that home away end in that corner. Absolutely loved it. I hope United put it on again because I will definitely be moving my seat there. But apart from that, the game itself, it was a reaction we got a winning reaction from the team. It was against a Brighton side that aren't the easiest team to beat. They're a decent outfit and we know that they're going to come here. They're going to be well organised, well prepared. United, they're coming into it. We ain't with the most confidence at this moment in time. And we need to get back to that confident level. The only way we can do that is by winning games. And we started here today with a victory after the international break. I think we got Swansea. We need another victory there because we can't let this season tail off now. We got the semi-final at Wembley, potentially a final at Wembley if we win that. 
and we can't let the league games, however, six, seven league games, whatever it is, just go to waste. We need to keep the momentum going. Win all of those games, win the semi-final, win the final at Wembley. We've got a cup, we finished second, and we go into next season bouncing, and we can forget about that disappointment of losing in, this, in, the, in, the, in the round of 16 against Sevilla. But we need to keep it up. That's the only way. We've got to get results to build that confidence back up. And then we can start playing football again. Look, today, it wasn't great at all. The football wasn't great. Martial's performance wasn't great. Lingard's performance wasn't great. Lukaku, yes, he was one of our better players, but it wasn't his best game. Matic impressed. But apart from that, there weren't really any standout players today. You can tell they're suffering a little bit with confidence. But that reaction from the fans in there today would have helped them. And hopefully this victory will help them. Um, international break now. We can forget about club football for a bit. And then United are back. And United need to keep it up. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. This has been another Match Day vlog. Make sure you're liking, sharing, subscribing. I'm Adam McCola. Out of here.